What's cracking guys? Welcome back to another video. I think we're as wide as we can be right now. Today we're gonna do a little work on the Del Sol. Some stuff that we needed to do. Um, just kind of getting it back together. I kind of stole a bunch of stuff off the sole here to get the hatch running and now the hatch runs and now I got to get the sole running and then once I get the sole running I can do stuff to a different thing and so today today is uh we're just gonna do a little stuff clean up but not really clean up but just get the sole kind of good to go <laughs> So for the longest time, I have had a, a VTEC distributor uh, on a non-VTEC head for a really long time, but I didn't do anything like chop off an arm or anything like that. What I did do uh, was just use one bolt. So what I have here is a LS, well, this is a B20 distributor. This is an OD2. So, I'm still gonna use it. Uh, shout out to Dana for hooking me up with this. It was an extra off of B20 he had, or he's got a box full of uh, stuff. So, he hooked me up with this guy. Uh, when I put this on though, I didn't put the gasket um, on the cap. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw the cap, or the gasket on this cap here. And then, uh, then we're gonna slap this on the car. Bam. All right, so we've got the new one on there. Already had one that was kind of nice, but you know, why not throw one on if it's new? You know what I mean? But uh, didn't really know what to make a video of, so this is what we're doing right now. But you know, this stuff needs to get done. This stuff. Now, obviously, this is an OBD2 and the Del Sol is OBD1, so I do have an adapter. So I do have an adapter for the 10 pin. But, uh, yeah, we'll get this. we'll get this on right here. I don't have a timing light but I have a timing ear. All right, guys, that's about it. It's getting a little dark. Um, didn't really do too much. I just ran out for a quick second. I got the distributor on, wired in. I got the adapter. Next, all I need is the battery. Hook that up, and then basically it's good to drive. Um, I'm using my S300 and the EF right now, so the Soul doesn't really have an ECU. Um, so I'm gonna use like the PM6 ECU that was driving the EF when I multi-point swapped it. So because it's a B20, I don't think it's gonna matter too much, but I will need an ECU in the future so that that is good, but I'm pretty sure that other OBD1 ECU will work, right? Probably, we'll, we'll get back, we'll get back to this. What's well, cracking guys, welcome back. Today's gonna be a good one. Today's gonna be a good one. I'm starting late, but I have a bunch of things that I wanna get done to the EF. So we're gonna head to the shop right now, uh, mainly because I need to knock out a couple things. One of them being, I got a new radiator for the EF. Sorry if I got that behind me, but I got a new radiator for the EF. So in order to do that, I need to be able to, you know, take everything out and put all the stuff back in. So here we go. Uh, don't mind the mess. Uh, I'm gonna swap tires onto these guys pretty soon, but I've got this new Skunk 2 radiator. And yeah, like I said, don't mind the mess right now, basically. Uh, I'm in move mode, so I've got just shit everywhere. Obviously, I still have this box of suspension parts. I haven't done too much on the EF, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. I've just been solidly working. So uh, today we're gonna focus on this, maybe battery re relocation and maybe an intake, but let's see how far we can get today, huh? All right, so in the car, uh, I got radiator, box of stuff. I'm gonna try to get in the car, but one thing about this for some reason is I always hear like a weird like tapping, almost like weird. I don't wanna use the word knock because that's a scary word, but I do hear something and I don't know if it's just the, the exhaust, maybe it's a big ass exhaust leak or the exhaust shaking, but maybe you guys could hear it when you turn it on, but let me, let me know. Cause I can kind of feel it too. Oh no. Oh no. The battery might be dead. It would be right. It fucking would be. All right. Round two. We've got the RSX hooked up. Now let's see if we can turn it on. Ooh, ooh, that wants to go. Okay. All right. We're for sure on now. So that's good. Can you guys hear that? Brrr. 
Yeah, so another thing that I want to do is I need to loosen uh, my timing belt. It's got that whine to it. Kind of sounds like I'm supercharged, so I want to nail that as well. That might also be part of the sound. I'm not sure. So hopefully I can get under there and take a peek. All right, made it to the shop. Everything's good, all in one piece. This thing's super fun to drive, guys. Super. Can I say that enough? Super fun to drive. But I have uh, the mad scientist here trying to figure this out. And uh, yeah, so this side is just too high and it hits right here and I can no longer open this. So um, I'm kind of guessing we can loosen these and maybe I just shimmed it wrong because I was able to take off the wing, um, which is back there. But uh, really, really want to be able to lift the hatch. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to do that. And then I've got this guy right here, skunk two, and then a couple parts in there I'm going to hit up. And then while I'm here, I'm also going to try and do the timing belt. Um, well, not the whole belt, but loosen it. So I think I just need to get it to TDC, uh, loosen the tensioner a bit, back it up a little bit, and then, you know, go a couple rotations. And then I believe it's 40 foot pounds for the timing belt tensioner. Um, and then once we nail that, car should be pretty good. I think it is leaking a little oil, but I think it's leaking from the VTEC solenoid. So I need to get another gasket for that. But otherwise, otherwise it feels great. So everything's unboxed here. This is what you get. Brand new Skunk 2 Alpha radiator for this guy. That's what's going in there right now. So we got some fancy dancy hardware. This bar, not quite sure what this is for, but I feel like I'm gonna have to use it to, to make something out of this. And then obviously you get a uh, sticker and one of these guys that you always get when you buy Skunk 2 stuff and a cool little like certified Delioski right here. So I'm gonna let this cool. Uh, I'm gonna get this racked and then uh, we're gonna check out underneath the car because I haven't done that. Check some bolts, just make sure everything's good there. Uh, and as it's cooling, then we'll get to this thing, uh, the timing belt, and then we'll get to the radiator. So now we're under the car here. I haven't been under this car in a really, really long time, but as you guys can tell, it's uh, it's, it's dirty under here, guys. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it looks, no, it's not that bad. It's not that bad, actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of uh, check some of this out, and then I'll get back to you guys in a second here. So I don't know if you guys can hear this, but uh, let's see here, there's a, uh, there's a little bit of play here back and forth and I feel this wheel shaking a little. So uh, I know I need other wheels because these studs aren't long enough. So um, I'm gonna get the BBRs on here ASAP, but I'm gonna check these, but I don't think they need to get torqued. This one, let's see. Now this one seems solid. This one though, I think the wheel bearing's fucking going out. That's why I'm getting a little shakes there. But um, all right, I'm gonna clean up a lot of this stuff here and then I'm gonna get to get draining the radiator and uh just to not bore you guys with a bunch of stuff i'm basically gonna go hit a little pre-maintenance stuff done cleaning and draining and then uh we will check back in when this goes in
and I'm just like, all right, I hope it's okay. Uh. All right, well, I don't know if you guys can see this here, but here's the old radiator. That's the old fan. So I'm gonna take the old fan off and I'm gonna actually throw it on this guy for now. Um, I wanna get a slim fan, but I'm gonna use the OEM one for now. I'm not gonna worry about it. It already worked. It's gonna be efficient. So I'm gonna do that. I was also trying to pop this off at the same time so I could at least knock out both. But what I think I'm gonna do right now is finish the radiator job, at least get it in there, get the hoses ran, get everything toyed uh, before I get on this so that way I don't have two projects going on at once. And then uh, we'll check in. Oh, all right, gas station shot. What's good? What's good? All right, guys, that was a giant ordeal. Uh, basically, the hose didn't fit on the bottom because of the cable to hydro. It was kinked, so we had to cut it. We put like a little coupler there from a Davies Craig uh, electric water pump with a sensor. I mean, if I wanted to run an electric water pump later, I'm basically set. It was a hassle. I'll show you guys in the morning, but right now it's like 1030. Took way too fucking long. But uh, yeah, I'm going to head home. Basically, just got... We gotta deal with this thing. Yep, yep. Uh, boom. Got this little metal gas cap right here. Boom, boom. All right. All right, uh, continuation in the morning. Guys, it's the next day. It got really late. I drove home. Everything seems to be pretty mint though, but I figured I would give you a little update, show you what it looks like inside so that you guys, you know, know that I did something. But first, Look at this thing, guys. Super sad. Actually, just needs a battery, and I have a battery. I need to throw it in there. I still need to paint the bumper. I still need to put the interior. It's just, I gotta get this done so that I can enjoy it, but I've been focused on the EF and then working. So, I know that's not really an excuse, but that's really what's been going on. So, my bad on that one, but I'm gonna get back on this, so yeah let's let's see what happened yesterday boom look at that i got that skunk too that skunk too right here yeah all right all right all right all right, all right. so let me get this mess with a manual lens sorry about that guys all right so it's totally in i don't have these uh corner brackets because they need a hold there and they need a hold there all i had was this guy which was on the stock one and that bolts from here uh, to here, but I don't have that little uh, thing right here like it did on the OEM one. So I just drilled this out. I have this. It's solid. It's literally not going anywhere. So I'm good on that. The thing that actually caused the majority of the problem is this guy right here. This lower hose situation that we've got over here. So um, I don't think it has anything to do with the traction bar, but I am getting a new one fairly soon. Uh, obviously the OEM fan shroud, I didn't throw on a slim fan and this is a dual core so it sits out a bit more and if you look on the lower hose it kind of move goes you see this transmission isn't a cable trans so I have the Hasport cable to manual or you know cable to hydro situation here and that moves the transmission from being like right here and then now this thing is right there which got in the way to me having a hose in that spot so if you guys know what hose i can run that'll actually work with the cable to hydro that would be mint essentially what we had to do was find another hose make a hard 90 to the passenger side i have a uh, coupler that technically we used for like uh electric water pumps um and then we put a sensor in there so that way there wasn't a hole and then we ran the rest of the hose all the way around so basically it comes out like this does a hard 90 to the left goes to a coupler and it's going like this it's actually really nice but obviously the best way to do would be a straight shot all the way to the back so i mean it works now there's no leaks everything seems to be good uh the main issue is that that's just kind of weird and when that lower hose gets hot this is just going to suck in all that hot heat 
So if you guys have a better idea, absolutely let me know. And I was gonna do the timing belt adjustment because it is giving me the wine. Uh, it's a bit too tight. Um, but because this became a giant ordeal and we were trying to close up the shop, um, I basically decided that I shouldn't dive into that. So that's next, I will get into that. But either way, here's what we got guys. We basically have the Skunk 2 radiator in the EF, super ultra cooling, did not budge whatsoever. This has been really, really awesome to drive. Um, I'm worried about the timing belt. I don't want to snap it or do anything bad. So obviously I want to fix that. Everything seems to be super smooth. I torqued down the axle nuts. That needed to happen too. Um, so everything's good. I, st I still have the whole front suspension to do. So that's coming. I still have the suspension to throw in. So, so much more content I have on this. Uh, I'm starting to understand my work schedule and I should be able to get more time into this. But with that said, guys, I'm just going to go ahead and close this out now. Um, nothing big. Like, subscribe, show your friend, get excited for more EF content. Smash that like button if you want to do so. And then I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.